Alright everybody, what's good? It's Thunder. Check it out, man. I'm back playing some COD World War II. Man, granddad's out here putting in work with the specialist package. Oh, baby, I'm gonna get my specialist. Yeah, oh. The hell? Yo, let me see this shit. Let me see this. Bloop! <laughs> Yo. Why do I play this game, man? Why, granddad? Why? Why you doing me like that, granddad? Try and get this guy. Oh, that's a sniper. Get out the window, son. Don't be messing with no snipers, man. Oh, sniper. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just beat a sniper at close range with a extended mag PPSH. Yeah, this got to be a fake video, man. That never happens. Holy shit, bro. Woof. Got lucky right there, man. Usually PPSH against sniper at close range. R.I.P. You don't even stand a chance. What the hell? What was this? Oh, damn. All right, he got me. He got me. Let's see this. Let's see this. What? How did he see me? <laughs> he probably just threw the scope up and fit. What the hell? No. No, I gotta see this. <laughs> Yo, I'm out. I'm out. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, come on, man. Sledgehammer, come on, new guy, come on. Yo. <laughs> Let's see this. Bloop. All right. What was that? Was that the PTRS? What was that, man? I don't even know. I don't even know. New guy. Aaron, right, listen, man. Listen, just, I know a couple good priests, man. Let me come down to the studio. I, I'll put a whole gang of these priests up on the bus. We'll exercise the demons straight out of these COD World War II snipers. Because that's all you need to do. I mean, you've done so much, man. I have never seen a development team try so hard to revive a dead-ass game as hard as the new sledgehammer management uh, Aaron Hellon is doing. I mean, holy crap, bro. I mean, all the stuff they've done. Can you imagine if COD World War II shipped like this? Like the way it is right now with the specialist in the game and, you know, all these cool perks and basic training they added. Like when this game first dropped, we went from feeling ordinary and vulnerable to boom, we got specialists now. You know what I'm saying? We got Blitzkrieg now. We got Wonderlust now. We got all kinds of cool perks and ribbons. Like, we feel anything but ordinary and average playing this game. Oh, get on, son. Oh, yeah, fellas. I'm using Specialist. And my first special, I'm using it with Expeditionary because this is the only basic, uh, only division that I have unlocked. I prestiged up all my other divisions to unlock other stuff. I haven't played this game in so long, but... Yeah, this new update definitely got me back on COD World War II. Specialist bonus, come on in. And oh, getting triple spray now. Oh, come on, son. That could have been the quad feed. And that guy that killed me, too. I put like three bullets in him, but that wasn't enough to finish him off. Damn it, man. I hate the bullet damage in this game, man. And what we're going to do with uh, Black Ops 4, fellas, the bullet damage is going to be uh, that the HP for every player is going to be 150. I don't know, man. I don't know, fellas. Ugh. But anyway, getting back to the class setup, I'll put it up on the screen. I'm using uh, the PPSH with round drum, rapid fire, and I think I have grip on here too, although grip never shows up on these weapons for whatever reason. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we could have all kinds of shit in this game. Riot shields, shapeshifters, leprechauns. I mean, think about that, man. They put Y'all could put leprechauns in this game, but you can't put lobby leaderboards. You can't put a grip. What the flip? Really, really weird how they can't put a grip in COD World War II, man. Uh, I don't know. I, what do you guys think will show up first in this game? Grip or lobby leaderboards? Or well, probably neither one of them will ever show up. So, RIP lobby leaderboards and grip. Uh, yeah. Would have been nice to have them, though. Definitely would have been nice. Uh, this expeditionary class, I like using the Bettys, man, just because it just covers my six. In a game like this where there's so many ways to get flanked from, bro, and the spawns flip so fast, the Bettys just kind of like, they don't really get me a lot of kills, but they let me know where people are coming from. Because a lot of people now, they play this game long enough, they know they just duck under the Bettys. Uh, Bettys are super easy to get away from, but at least I can hear them going off. At least it'll alert me to someone trying to flank me from behind. And this map right here, Gustav, I mean, my god, dude. <laughs> this was actually in... Uh, this this map actually got voted for. This map beat the other map that was in the playlist. I can't remember what it was, but this lobby actually voted for this shit. And I was thinking about trolling this lobby just by throwing on the riot shield. Uh, can you imagine the riot shield? <laughs> can you imagine the riot shield? And I got stuck on this day. Look at this. Oh, my god. I got stuck on the something. On the corner of the building. 
God, dude, that shit pisses me off, man. And, uh, yeah, Specialist is cool, but between the maps, the sweats, and the snipers, just, it's... <laughs> It's so hard for me to stay on my specialist streak. For those of you guys who could avoid all that stuff and could go and get V2 rockets every day and never get blooped or shot in the back or stuck on something and killed, man, I tip my cap to you guys, man. You guys are absolute savages. Uh, so I'm using uh, my class here. I've got scoped as the first uh, perk. Then I use hustle and then I have flanker. Now, I know a lot of people like putting Forage in that third spot, but when you got the PPSH round drum, you got some ammo reserves here. So there you go, got my first perk scoped, and specialist in this game, guys, it really is good. It really is good. I just wish, uh, you know, these maps weren't so damn hectic and the snipers weren't so OP. Uh, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I need a lot of help, man. Specialist ain't enough to keep my ass alive in this game. <laughs> this is definitely not one of my best uh, COD games. Uh, my KD in this game is pretty shitty. I think it's like a 1.90 KD, which is really bad for me. Usually, I don't have that low of a KD in COD. Like I said, man, over in Black Ops 3, I got like a 3-something KD. So, oh, my. See what I'm saying, fellas? See what I'm saying? There's just too many random, you know... Bullshit! ...moments in this game. Snipers just get you from out of nowhere. That was a good shot, though. Good snipe. Good snipe. Uh, but, man, the way COD World War II is right now, fellas, if this game shipped like this, oh, my goodness. I mean, I thought three years would be enough time. I mean, for the three years they had to make this game, they shipped out one bland, boring, ordinary-ass COD game, didn't they? This is the way the game... The way the game is right now, what, ten months? Or nine months after... I mean, how many months is this game post-launch? I don't know, like eight, nine, or ten months? <laughs> I'm probably still wrong, but this is the way the game should have came out, Sledgehammer. If the game came out like this, I mean, damn. I mean, th there's so few people playing this game. I was in the lobby earlier where everybody knew one another. They were like, hey, what's up, man? I remember you. I made your rage quit yesterday. Remember that? <laughs> like, people are running into the same players all the time. And look at this. Look at this Betty. See, Betty's kind of easy to spot, too. Well, I can't. There we go. Finally shot it. Damn, man. Damn. These Bettys are hard to shoot in this game. They're kind of like the RC car from Black Ops 1. You guys remember that RC car in Black Ops 1? You'd be shooting the hell out of that thing, and you could just never hit it. <laughs> it had, like, crazy small hitbox. But anyway, guys, I think we could all agree that COD World War II isn't that terrible of a COD game. It's actually pretty decent, aside from the complete, you know, AIDS, quick scopers in this game. The snipers are ridiculously OP, and, you know, the maps are a little chaotic. But overall, I'd say this is a pretty solid COD game in the state it's in right now. And this is the fate I don't want to see happen to Black Ops 4. I want Black Ops 4 to be great right off the rip. But, man, there's just so little hype for the game right now. And Activision is just going about it the wrong way, I think, with Black Ops 4. Because hype has always sold COD games. And there's, like, no hype at all for Black Ops 4. I mean, think about it. They actually did the reverse of hype in the game. They de-hyped that shit. Everybody was excited for Black Ops 4, Treyarch's new COD game. But what did Activision do, man? They came out... And Treyarch, they came out and told us shit that, like, we didn't want to hear. Like, nobody's trying to hear no campaign. Nobody's trying to hear, oh, it's 5v5 now. And nobody's trying to hear, oh, yeah, you can only use your specialist once, and you can only have one of each specialist in a lobby. Oh, yeah, if some other guy's got your favorite specialist, you can't use it. And nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear there's a pass coming back. I mean, all the shit they've announced for this game, the Call of Duty community's been like, huh? Ooh, I don't, I don't know if I like the way that sounds. And then they announced their Battle Royale mode that we haven't even seen yet. I mean, dude, just Activision is doing a terrible, terrible job. Uh, I mean, we were supposed to get hyped for Black Ops 4 at E3, but mm -mm, that ship sailed the moment they announced that the season pass was coming back. And I, I just hope in July, Activision, please generate some hype for Black Ops 4 and m have the game come out finished. Y'all had three years. Have the game come out finished with all this cool shit in it. I don't want a boring, half-finished game to come out after three years of development just for it to get good later. And, oh yeah, fellas, check this. I picked up a sniper off the ground. You know I'm about to get a kill with this bitch. Look at this. <laughs> you can't miss, homie. You can't miss. <laughs> Thunder backpacking the team, as usual here, with the specialist bonus. I am so glad they put specialists back in the game. And look at this game. Oh, not game winning. Play of the game right here. See, I shot that first guy, man. I put a bunch of bullets in him, but he didn't die. That should have been a quad feed, man. Should have been a quad feed, homie. Damn it. So close. <laughs> it's all right. I'll take the triple spray, man. I'll take it. There you go, fellas. 26 and 6 with Specialist. I like Specialist in this game, man. I mean, damn, son. The shit they've done to this game. Amazing. 
Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Why wasn't this in at launch, dude? Why? Why wasn't it in at launch? Oh my god. Black Ops 4, please have the game come out and have it be good. I want it to be good in October. That's why I want to play this beta, man. Where is this beta at? Can somebody please announce a beta date? Activision, please, can you hurry up and announce that beta date? See what I'm saying, guys? That's why I like Betty's, man. That guy, these maps are so damn chaotic. Oh, my. I mean, look at all the doorways and ways to get flanked over here and multiple levels to jump up and down from. I mean, bro, are you serious? I hope the Black Ops 4 maps aren't like this. I know a lot of you guys like Flak Tower, <laughs> Flank Tower. But oh my goodness, man, you've got to be kidding me. And I know why they make maps like this. I'm not stupid. They make maps crazy like this so everybody can get kills because once you introduce chaos, it eliminates any sort of skill. Look, now these dudes are behind me. I mean, come on, son. My God, dude. So anyway, guys, like I was saying, man, I mean, Black Ops 4 has pretty much no hype right now. I mean, we're almost into July. I mean, my God, son, there's more people hyped about Modern Warfare 3 backwards compatible than Black Ops 4 and COD World War 2 DLC 3 combined. I mean, hell, Destiny 2 Forsaken DLC got more hype and buzz around it than Black Ops 4 does right now. Activision, July is right around the corner, man. We better have a big hype month. You better start, I don't know, man, do something, please. <laughs> do something to generate some buzz for Black Ops 4 because it's pretty much non-existent right now. You ruined Treyarch's vibe at E3. You better not do that shit at Comic-Con. You guys know Comic-Con is dropping... When is it dropping? Hold on, let me find the screenshot. All right, there it is, fellas. July 19th, San Diego Comic-Con. So we're still like three weeks away from seeing some more Black Ops 4 footage. But Activision, please don't kill Treyarch's vibe at Comic-Con the same way you did at E3. Please don't. And, I mean, you guys need to show us some of that blackout mode at Comic-Con, please. I know they said they're going to show us some more zombies, but, man, show us the blackout mode, bro. It's, it's, it's the middle of July. The game's dropping in October. Where's this blackout mode at? I don't know, man. Treyarch better bring the heat at Comic-Con because as far as hype goes, they're getting the ass kicked by everything. Like I said, MW3 backwards compatible generating more hype than Black Ops 4 is right now. That's embarrassing. Anyway, guys, what do you think about all this? Drop down in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and share it. Oh, that good shit. And I'll see you guys on the next one.